Some experts say that uh, climate change could force the Loch Ness monster out of hiding. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be too hot in the lake. <laughs> which, uh, which, if true, uh, would lead mm-hmm. to what Menace keeps waiting for—an official discovery. Right. <gasps> okay. Yeah. Nah, I still don't believe that it's gonna come to the surface because. Do you believe it's a thing? The Loch Ness monster. Yeah. No, but maybe I know you believe Bigfoot. Yeah, but maybe in the ocean or something. But maybe not, in the ocean. Not in a lake. Well, there are excuse always is there's underground caves, which I know that underground caves do exist. But in a lake? I, yeah. Really? Yeah, you don't some of these I mean, lakes you coves, have no idea. Yeah, they're yeah. coves. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, but is I, this thing it can live forever? We've been hearing about this for how long? Well, I mean, it's there, difficult. M- maybe there was multiple. Greg. Yeah. Oh, it had a little baby. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Right, you don't exactly. know. Scotland has one thing. Let them have it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, the British tabloids say they've talked to, quote, experts. Oh. Oh, experts. experts. They talked to Menace. Who say that uh, Nessie's food sources could be impacted by oh, rising hell. temperatures. Oh, no. That's the part I. Didn't and a more think about. volatile climate. And if that happens, Nessie could come out of Loch Ness in search of food. <laughs> <laughs> a rep for a local climate action committee says that something needs to be done because Nessie is the most important monster in Scotland. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, the only yeah, one. Get the f- out of here. That's what Ravy's been saying. N- Nessie keeps tourism alive. <laughs> Created industries. We've got to okay. go to Scotland. Let me ask you a question. So out of like uh, Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, mm-hmm. um, aliens. aliens, which yeah. one do you wish was true? Aliens. Like if if one can be true, I'm I'm, I'm sure I'm missing. It. Uh, the Earth is flat. Mm. Yeah. All this other, all this crazy stuff, right? Yeah. Of all that ghosts. Oh, well, ghosts um, are yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, ghosts are real. Sure. Are real. So okay, all the stuff. There's no real concrete. Right. Either consensus or proof. Well, Greg has concrete yeah. proof. Well, of I course, yeah, Greg exists. does. Yeah. And I'm sure somebody who uh-huh. got a picture, it's really blurry mm-hmm. of the Loch Ness Monster, says, well, I got proof, too. Right. Mm-hmm. But let's just, for the sake of argument. You right? want to want to be real. Yeah. Uh, aliens. What's the one you most want to be real? Bigfoot. Bigfoot? Yeah. Any particular reason why? I just think it'd be funny if there were Sasquatches <laughs> <Yeah>. out there. <laughs> For the humor. Like aliens, yeah. no way. Oh yeah, like I that know. Would be so yeah. scary. Aliens are real, but I just I'm afraid to have contact with them. Right, exactly. <laughs> so I would rather would go with Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Yeah. I just saw a Sasquatch. I would say ghosts. Really? Because yeah, because then you would know that there is something after this. I'd be a never nude mm. if I knew that ghosts were real. <laughs> Your grandma's watching would, you every day. I would yeah. go from like rarely yeah. nude to never nude. Your grandpa's <laughs> watching you, Joe. But then yeah. you would know you'd become a ghost when you die. So there's a beyond. And you could screw with people. But that does everybody hate. become a ghost? If well, you, I mean, it would know. prove that there is something after we die. Yeah. If ghosts existed and you True. had concrete proof of it. I just want to rest after I'm right. dead. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to come back as anything. So tired. You want to yeah. float around and hang out? No. Like no. Ghosting? I don't want to watch my niece. Having sex? <laughs> well, you don't have to hang around yeah, for that. Yeah, you can leave the room. Jeez. Yeah, you, you don't need the door. Just go right like, through the wall. Yeah. They're about to bang. I better go. Oh, I want to go. Oh. I just want a dirt nap after it's all over. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She doesn't mm. want to know that her niece is going to be the, banging constantly. The way you talk about death is so weird to me. Why? Because it's just like, I don't know. It's you're just, just like, over. I want it to be over. Yes. I don't know. The, your outlook on it is so bad. But why would you want to have this like. <laughs> why? Because we don't I know. I think it's very <laughs> realistic. We don't know what, what an is. afterlife would be. Maybe it sucks. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. never ending. Like, what if you get mm-hmm. there, Menace? Like, yeah. the afterlife, you get there and it blows. Just and like, it's the, like. It's eternal? The thought yeah, of reincarnation sucks. is so awful. Like, yeah, you've you got to keep coming back. But you don't know yeah, but you're you coming don't, back. But do you realize? I don't think you realize. I don't. It's not like you'd be born and go. I hope it's not mm-hmm. a thing. Oh crap! Here I am again. Oh, right. You're coming back as a bug. But then, if, if that's uh-huh. the case, at what point do you realize that? Oh, I was a whatever in my previous life. Right. Mm-hmm. If you don't know, see. Yeah. Now we're high. I like the idea. <laughs> I like the idea of one. You sound done. high. <laughs> I don't. But, I don't but know, of all like, those things on that list, the Loch Ness monster is the most easily provable right. or disprovable. It's a lake. Then why haven't yeah. they done it yet, Greg? Yeah. Great question. Like, yeah. I think Ravy's right. Keeps tourism alive. Yeah. Well, the burden of proof is on the people who say it's real. Of course. Because they've done all that stuff with, uh, you know, scanning and right. infrared mm-hmm. and whatever, yeah. trying okay. to find any kind of life in a lake. In a lake. That's just the silliest. Yeah. Just yeah. send so, some robot down there diving right. for it. And that wouldn't be the most boring. I think uh, Bigfoot would be boring. Bigfoot would Why? be hilarious. Because it's just mm. an animal that we don't know about. Yeah, big deal. 
Fair. There's other goofy looking animals like giraffes. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> that we are going to already like enjoy. Sasquatch, you ever dude. sit and like really look at a giraffe? They're so weird. They're so weird. They got so those little weird, like. But they're so interesting. Those little like, you know. Antennae? Oh, yeah, on top of their head. Right. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen yeah, them so fight? Weird. It's so weird when no. they ram their necks against Next each to other. each other. Yeah. Crazy. Because they're fighting over a chick. <laughs> like, I think aliens would be interesting, but I'm, I'm with Menace on, you don't know if they're it's way too cool or not cool. I've seen way too many movies. Yeah. I mean, I'm still just looking for a ride to space, you know, so. Yeah, that's all you want. That could be pretty cool. I mean, if they could hook us up with some technology and make our internet faster, oh cool. right, that's what we but need. If they that's got, that's what we need. Aliens, yeah, they're for. gonna come all this way to help us yeah. with our internet. But if they got <laughs> beef, I don't want any part of it. What beef could they have? They don't even know us. They come down. They're like, yeah, because they want our Earth. Wasn't that how they it typically want is? Earth. People don't even know each other. Like next thing you know, they're fighting in the street. I guess, but why do we assume that they come from far away? Obviously, <laughs> and then they just want to do us harm. For what, why? Hollywood. It's big Hollywood. Yeah, thanks a Hollywood. lot, Hollywood. It's big Hollywood. Yeah. What they really want to come down and do is take us to 10G instead of 5G. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, t- yeah. and TVs in 20K, which <laughs> yeah. you can't even see. Yeah. It would be pretty That's awesome. what they want to do. Yeah, Up our Gs. No, I just want... <laughs> I was joking about the Wi-Fi, but just uh, travel in general would be cool. I mean, obviously, you. they know how to get places super fast. We were I mean, talking help. about this. Menace, what, like, you, you said that you wanted a TV that's, uh, I forget how, or, or a camera. No, they were talking about the new iPhones. Right. He goes, oh, I'd like to have a camera. It's what, a, like, at, at this point, we have 4K, right, cameras. Yep. Right? No, like, in the, the human eye, I'm, I'm asking the question, like, yeah. the human eye can only see up to what? It's not 4K. It's less than that. Yeah. No, you misheard me. I wasn't um, wanting a, like, uh, 6K or 4K or anything like that. There's a a, a look to video yeah it's a cinematic look and you can only get that with like larger cameras they haven't been able to put it into a phone oh yet. so it's not like uh it's not a resolution like oh, it's where not... it makes it look like an actual movie yeah like a movie yeah, so i thought the iphone had that doesn't it have like cinematic it does uh, have cinematic but not at the, not at the level of like uh, a camera that you could use to shoot something for netflix like, you need a larger camera. I mean, not according to the Apple commercials I've seen. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know. This was shot on an iPhone. <laughs> yeah. True. That's great. I've seen it. But it's not at the that level yet. No. Yeah. That stuff is still, like, you have to use two hands to hold the camera. Maybe question on the text. So, mm-hmm. I mean, as a uh, as a Catholic. Sure. Heaven. Um, yeah. Do you not believe in, in heaven uh, anymore? I, if that's... I go back and forth. Yeah? Yeah. I just wonder. It's like, I wonder if we can be disappointed. You know, like uh, let's say it's real. Sake of argument again. Right. We're, we're sounding really high right now mm-hmm. in this whole conversation. Let's let's say that it's real All and right. you get there because this whole idea on Earth, you go like, oh well, when I die, I'm going to be reunited with all my, mm-hmm. you know, dead family members right. and friends and things like that. But like, at what stage? Because you like you remember your grandma mm-hmm. being sure the old or lady riddled with old. Alzheimer's. Yeah, and then you get there and right. she's like twenty because mm-hmm. uh-huh. that's her heaven. Totally. Yeah. Or, or do you see them how you want to see them and they see themselves how they want to see themselves? Whoa. What? Oh, my oh God. I bet that's how it would be. Yeah. Right. I'm not high enough for this. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be that fun. Is, that is bizarre thought. So if you get there, it's like, you know, it's like, yeah, that's my grandma, but I don't even like recognize her or whatever. Like, you know, I said, what, what if you get there and it, eternity sucks? Right. Mm. And then you're stuck there for eternity. Do they have orientation? Like, here's what you can expect. Yeah. yeah. It's like, and did people, if they kill themselves in heaven, do they get to go back to earth? Maybe that's why they're getting reincarnated. Maybe. Uh, Whoa. Maybe that's how the cycle works. What? Holy hell. The Woody Show. If you know the moon landing was fake and Bigfoot is real, well, hell, that's Redneck News. <laughs> Super appropriate opening for the Redneck News. <laughs> wow. Well, here we go. Today's Redneck News is from Lincoln, Nebraska, where this fella named Nicholas Freeman, bless his heart, he decided to do some shopping okay. at the local Walmart, but he wasn't pushing no regular old cart. Now, nah, he grabbed himself one of them motorized joints, Hell right. yeah. uh-huh. and he was riding up and down the aisles in style. For fun. Yeah. And after he was done there, he decided to take a little road trip, and his mode of transportation, that motorized shopping cart. It's so awesome. <laughs> He drove it off Walmart property down to the Casey's General Store. Okay. The cops, they were called by some people who watched him drive off, and <laughs> the good old boys in blue finally uh, corralled Nicholas right there at the Casey's. Nice. According to the police report, the cart he stole was worth over $2,700. Wow. Yeah. And so he was taken into custody and down to the county jail, all thanks to a little charge called theft by unlawful taking. 
Theft okay. by unlawful taking. Yeah. Isn't that all theft? Is that theft? Yeah. It's, that is redundant that AF. Theft? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what they call it there in Lincoln, Nebraska. Okay. <laughs> okay. They make all Nicholas fancy. Freeman. By the way, Casey's is delicious. Yeah. Casey's has Casey's some Casey's general store. Yeah. Casey's got some legit pizza. Really? All right. Yeah. Like to go. I know it sounds crazy. It does sound. Crazy. But they're known for their pizza. Yeah. The for those of you not store. familiar with Casey's, where's it at? They're all over. I mean, mostly all over like the Midwest. Um, but they have, like, where people will call there, order a pizza, come pick it up kind of mm. thing. It's not like a 7-Eleven that just happens okay. to have pizza that's, you know. Uh-huh. That's the, yeah. Like, people will, that's their pizza night. Oh. Sweet. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not great. It's not but great, it's, but it's it'll not, do in a it's pinch. It's not bad. They got yeah. a pretty decent breakfast pizza, too. Oh. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, Lincoln, Nebraska, Nicholas Freeman, who stole a motorized shopping cart from Walmart, used it to take a road trip to a Casey's General store. Mm-hmm. And that is today's Red Nick News! Theft and unlawful taking. Yeah. yeah. And riding away without paying. Yep, you right. heard it here. What, 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 what.